pure fat. Pure fat. You can butter a toast or several toasts or a loaf of toast with that, right? <laughs> a whole loaf of bread. A whole yeah. loaf of bread with that. To beaver? To beaver. <laughs> you ever had beaver before? Uh, years and years ago, yes. But never the tail. Welcome fellow Vikings. We have just won a massive battle, but our clan is dispersed. We must eat or rest. Viking, are you hungry? Mm. Then we must hunt beaver. On to the babbling brook we must travel. Onward. Onward. If we don't eat, we die. Well, who knows what the gods have in store for us. I smell beaver. Smell beaver. Smells like beaver. We have done well. Now we feast. A man can't live on beaver alone. I'll go pillage some veggies. I found some food. Mm. I found veggies.
It's good. It's rotten. This is good. You have done well. This, trash. All Vikings light their fires with flaming arrows, naturally. This is good meat that will nourish our bodies and prepare us for battle. Excellent beaver meat. All right guys, before we get into the action, I gotta tell you, we got a sponsor for this video. It's hard to pull these things off. As you know, YouTube's been cracking down and not supporting channels like this, especially if they do anything even remotely provocative. So our sponsor for this video is Vikings. They finally added new shamans and kingdoms. Really, this is the best time to join the action. Why do I recommend you join this? It's legendary in-game battle events of over 1 million players. It's huge. Viking stands out with its HD 3D graphics and smooth gameplay. And the best part is you get to choose your own play style. Build an indestructible fortress or just gather your friends, build a fierce army together and conquer the world. You have to re-experience the excitement of the 90s and 2000s top games that we all miss. Try the Vikings game now. Install the game only with my links in the description below. Get 200 gold and protection shield for free. Now back to the action. It's a hard-earned meal. Yeah, and it smells delicious. <laughs> Are you ready to dig in? Yes, absolutely. All right. You shall do the honors. 
Thank you. One scoop or two? Two, perfect. All right. Cool. All right. We good game? Cheers. To beaver? To beaver. <laughs> you ever had beaver before? Uh, years and years ago, yes. <laughs> but never the tail. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, but it's delicious. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, he's perfect. That is really good. This isn't caveman food. This is actually Viking food. Right? Right? Potato, yeah. meat, carrots. Carrots. How do we get carrots? Magic. Mm. Beaver every day. Beaver every day? Beaver every Just day. dive right in there. Right? <laughs> it is our national animal. You might get some on your beard though, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's how you know you're doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> you bring a napkin with you? Mm. Never. <laughs> <laughs> this goes on the throwaway channel, right? <laughs> <laughs> the potatoes are so good. We took all the flavor in. I guess, yeah. And they're not hard at all. They're like just mushy enough that you can smash them with your tongue. Ryan. Want some tail? Yeah, buddy. All right, let's cook this guy up. This is uh, the beaver tail. It's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of reptilian. So we're gonna do is throw it on the fire. The skin should bubble up and we should have a delicious meal underneath there. Little pieces of stick, mm -hmm. always. If you're not sure what beaver meat tastes like, just picture um, giant rat or mouse. More or but less, like, a rodent. But like a really fantastic roast, kind of. Yeah, it's, ro it's roast beef like. Yeah. 100% roast beef like. Yeah, it's delicious. Hey guys, this is uh, Ryan. Um, Ryan's from around here, so you're probably going to see Ryan in future videos, I think. Did we get along? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm into that. So, he's got his own YouTube channel. He's um, He suffered quite a bit from the apocalypse and decided to go in a different direction. And uh, we met through a mutual friend. He has uh, blacksmithing uh, content a little bit, but he makes all this Viking stuff. Like all these things you've seen around here, more or less, have been creations of Orion's. Um, so you can expect to see some of that on his channel. And he's, you're gonna reboot your channel? Yes. Yeah, we talked all day long, yeah. and I've been really encouraging him to get his yeah. channel uh, refocused uh, so that he's not gonna end up in the basement of YouTube. As you know, it's pretty easy to get your stuff demonetized mm -hmm. and obviously throughout this video we've been really careful about how we presented things go check out ryan uh he's gonna have some content up i think maybe a little bit behind the scenes yeah maybe? yeah i've been filming a little bit today little bit. so yeah there'll be there'll be a little bit of that he's a funny guy oh thank you <laughs> you're so, too sweet there you go I would eat beaver meat as a staple. Yeah. Yeah. As a staple food. I could take this over cow. This is a beaver I received from a trapper. We didn't actually go out and wrestle and wrangle it out of the creek. Um, as much fun as that would but be. But it looked good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not legal. So uh, thanks Ron uh, for offering us the beaver. Uh, we put it to good use. Obviously it's made an excellent meal. Yep. Yeah, so you, you're, you, you're satisfied. Oh yeah. Yeah, this oh, yeah. is like this is like a proper meal. Yeah, yeah. it's a proper bush meal. Yeah, this is delicious. There's no no uh, no lies about it. Ah, it smells like burnt hair. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> I've burnt hair before. I've singed hair, so I know what that smells like. That smells exactly like burnt hair. Did it gets cooked right through. <laughs> I don't know. Who man. knows? All right, let's give it a shot. Beaver tail, historical famine food. When you just wanted a piece of meat <laughs> and you didn't want to wait. It's every man's a dream. <laughs> All right, so you want a tail, but you weren't expecting legit tail? Yeah, this is this is something. Are we doing the Viking thing still? Sure, yeah. We're gonna use it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Might make, oh, look at it, it's gonna come off like, like easily. Is he gonna jump right out of the skin? I'm gonna use my knife. It, it is actually, watch, watch. Oh my goodness. Dude, it's like unwrapping. That means it's cooked, right? 
Yeah, it's like unwrapping a beaver tail. It's a lot like unwrapping a beaver tail, right? It's exactly <laughs> like unwrapping a beaver tail. So the skin is just peeling off and underneath it, it's like gristle. We might need some salt for this. I'm getting excited. Are you guys getting excited? It does look kind of like fish. It smells a little bit like fish too. Right? Did you get a smell? Isn't that weird? So yeah, maybe it does taste like fish. Maybe they weren't lying to you. It doesn't smell, it doesn't smell terrible no. like fish. It just smells a little bit like fish. Geez, if you were a trapper and you were hungry, this is what you ate. You like cut the tail off, hastily make a fire. Yeah. My mouth is water, it's actually water. <laughs> yeah, me too a little, that's I'm a, salivating. That's a good sign. I guess, yeah, it just, it looks like fish to me now. Right. Like it looks like we just skinned a fish. Let's get rid of that. So. We'll get rid of this part too. I mean, you're not gonna eat the whole tail, are you? No, that's for the Yodis. You don't have to have all the tail. Like a we little can share. bit. We can share. We can share. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share this tail. How about that? Oh my. Oh, look, it's like butter. Ooh, dude, 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 look at that. That's gotta be pure fat, 100% pure fat. <laughs> look at this, like look how it cuts. It smells like calamari. I smell, I smell fishy, fishiness. We didn't cheers it to tail. Ooh, <laughs> that's like, it's like pure lard. Yeah. Like I would put this in with something. Yeah. Like stew it, you know. Like if you were doing up a pound of bacon and you threw a little chunk of this in first. That's 100% pure fat. And simmered it down. I don't know who, I don't know who, you, like, look at this. It definitely doesn't taste like fish. No, it's not fish at all. No. If I was hungry and this was a famine. Yeah, oh I, yeah. I would be all over this. Yeah. All over that. That is a, that is a hunk of fat. That's 100% fat, man. That's, well, that's fat. Yeah. Look, look at your grease, get, my fingers are getting greasy. Yep. That's fat. Well, that's famine food. Like, you can use that all day long. There's no, there's no meat on this. It's all fat. Yeah, that's not weird, eh? So there's the, the bone and tendon that runs down the middle and then a boatload of fat. Fat. With like fish scales on the outside. It's fat. Weird reptilian fish scales. Like, I don't know if you guys know, like the amount of calories in this tail is probably <laughs> 3,000 calories. Yeah. Like this is yeah. half, half the tail on the one side. Yeah. That's, that's, if you take this all apart, that's 3,000 calories of fat. Yeah. What a fascinating little animal. Isn't it? That's cool. Like this is how they Thank float. you, Mr. Beaver. <laughs> cool experiment. Yeah. So that's now neat. you know what it's like to eat tail. In the bush. In the bush. <laughs> Some of that bush tail. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody eats tail in the bush anymore, do they? I don't know, there could be a whole resurgence of that sort of thing. There could be. I thought it was 80s. Some of the 90s. <laughs> yeah. You spend the next couple hours gnawing on that, you'd be good to go. I can't even swallow this because I know it's like too much energy for my body right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with all this. It's pretty cool. I think we should put it in the stew. I maybe, think, not, maybe not all of it. I think we should. <laughs> I think we'll throw it in the stew. Because this will richen it up and mm -hmm. it'll add that fat dimension that we want. Alright, that's it. We're out. Cheers. Soup's on. Let's call the troops. This is that woods madness that drives people to axe each other. Complete strangers who decide to meet up and spend <laughs> a day in the bush together. <laughs> After they met on the internet? Right, yeah. Yeah. I heard you have an axe. <laughs> you want to kill a beaver with me tomorrow? Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> who doesn't? It'd be stupid to turn down an offer like that. So remember kids, when a bearded man meets you and says, come into the woods and kill a beaver, you go with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Smell beaver.